Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I've ordered a bunch of stuff from AliExpress, mainly some WLED stuff and some uh, more D1 Mini ESP32 boards. But I also saw this and had to pick it up. So what it is, is it's another ESP32 project. Specifically, it's the ESP32 cam board. So it's got that little module there and then it's got the ESP32 cam module. Which thinking about it, this ESP32 cam module may also be really good for building a little war driving project because it's got the SD card on it all we need to add is a GPS so that may be something we try later on but here's the basics of it I'm going to need to pick up some more micro SD cards. I'm kind of running low on them. But yeah, real simple, goes together real simple. Little camera module. It comes with an antenna. Let's look closer at the ESP32. So the ESP32 looks like it's already jumpered for the built-in antenna up here so you don't have to use the external one which I, I, I have no intentions to use the external one currently anyway that'll just be extra parts really but yeah we're gonna look at a few or at least one probably the default code I can find on this kind of see how it works connect to it but eventually I would like to put a system together kind of like a security system I guess but uh, get a handful of these ESP 32s and have them connect to a just a local web interface that can be seen on your local network but yeah, so that's the start of it. Let's move over and kind of look at the code and go on from there. All right, let's take a quick look at the AliExpress page of the specific camera I got. From, from what I can tell, this is a pretty common camera of what you'll run into, even like from Amazon and stuff. But I specifically got this kit here, so five bucks. It comes with the antenna, but I, I have no intentions of using the antenna. I'll use it on another project because it does still have the built-in ESP32 antenna, the PCB antenna. And it's actually, to use this external antenna, you would have to change the resistor that's on the antennas to move it over to this. So I didn't want to deal with that anyway. So with shipping, it's, you know, seven bucks for this specific one. There's a little info about it. I'll, I'll link this down in the description too, and I'll even, I'll, I'll throw in an Amazon link to a pack of them that I'll probably end up ordering as well. But what we're going to do, and I'll go through everything that I ran into issues with trying to get this coded is we're just going to open up Arduino IDE going through the comments on this Amazon or AliExpress order really kind of helped a little bit get through some of the troubles I was running into because first off didn't know what board to use because there's not really one just labeled 
ESP32 cam. But this one specifically is the AI Thinker ESP32 cam. So I selected that, no issue there. Proper COM port. Then over here in the actual code, oh, well, I guess I could show you where to get the code. So th this is example. ESP32 camera, camera web server. And it'll open up this code. The only thing you need to change is you need to comment out this define the ESPI one, unless that's the camera you have. If you have a different camera than me, you do which one you have. But this one specifically is the AI Thinker. So we're going to uncomment that. And then you need to put in your network's SSID and the password to your Wi-Fi so that it automatically connect to it. Another issue I ran into is it just not wanting to code. It not, acting like it couldn't connect to the ESP32, which was real strange because I've connected multiple ESP32s, even an AI thinker in the past. But there's something a little different about this one, and I ran into this issue as well with some ESP8266s that I was D1 minis that I was getting ready for an LED project they were having the same issue and with them I found I needed the CH340 driver and if you go to this Wemos you can download the driver here and install it once I did that everything connected everything worked fine so once you get that all done what you'll do is you go to tools serial monitor and it will tell you where it's connect the IP address it's connected to. Uh, you will you do need to change the baud rate to eleven five two hundred and then you'll get the text show up. So we'll take that and we'll go to this web address. And in this web address you'll see all of the stuff for the ES the ESP32 camera. It is just a two megapixel camera. It really starts lagging out if you do anything too high. So I'm just gonna up it to say 320, 480 by 320. Not super big, but hopefully it'll be a little easier to see it. And then there's all these other settings I'm not gonna deal with. Oh, let's, let's actually turn on the LED intensity on the front. That will maybe help see what's around. And then we'll do start stream. So yes. My room is completely dark. You can see the LED on the ESP32 really kind of helps see what's going on. Here's one of the LED projects I'm working on. Just really trying to figure out all the ins and outs of WLED, which will come up in another video. So it's not a bad little camera. It, a lot of things I want to do with it. I want to 3D print a case for it. I don't know if I'm going to design a case or find one done. Either way, I'll post which one it is on Instagram most likely. And if it's one I design, I'll, I'll probably do a video on it. But yeah. So that's the ESP32. Let's switch over to, okay, so now you can kind of see both what the camera sees and kind of a view of it. So, all right, let's get the LED intensity turned down to zero. And I'll turn on the my lights so you can kind of see the camera. Definitely a cool little board to play with. This is just an intro to it. Uh, down in the comments, if you, you have any projects you'd like to see done with it, just let me know. 
and I can see about working towards them. This has been a fun project for sure. Lots of stuff I've been, I've, I've kind of got planned for it. I'd like to do its own little web interface with multiple cameras to kind of put around the house or in every window to see the outside or something like that. So that'll be an interesting project. But yeah, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.